say. Lately, my upload schedule has been pretty, uh, doo-doo. There was a three-month gap between my Saints and Sinners video and, uh, New Recruits, and I apologize for that. But, if many of you didn't know, New Recruits took about six months to make. I know, shocker, right? Animation takes a really long time, especially if it's eight minutes. What my original thought was when I was working on New Recruits was that I'll just sprinkle in some videos while I work on it, and that proved to be a little harder, because even my VR videos took a good amount of time, like 8 hours of work, and I wanted to utilize that time and use it uh, for new recruits. So that was a good equation for no uploads, and when you don't upload anything, that's not a good way to grow your channel. Many people forgot about new recruits, and I was going into Discord, and I was like, hey, remember me? Remember that I was working on this? Yeah, it's finally out. And a lot of people forgot because it was such a long time. And I really want to make content frequently so that I'll have returning viewers, I'll get some new ones, and it's a lot harder to grow when you have videos that come out every couple months or so. So I've decided to do some off videos like this one where it's only about five minutes and I just talk about something miscellaneous like Gary's mod. It's not going to be low quality, but it's going to be enough to where I can churn it out without it looking like shit. So, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Let's just start the video. You know Gary's Mod? That sandbox game where, you know, you can do mods and stuff? You also know how Gary's Mod has servers? Well, to be more specific, RP servers or role-playing servers. Now, there's a ton of those on Gary's Mod, and I thought, hey, why don't I review them? Now, any normal person would probably be like, who thinks of this? It's me, because I have a low brain cell count, and I just broke out of an insane asylum. Alright, let's see what the server is for today. Just kidding, I already know what it is. It's Storm Chasers 3700. If you don't know what the server is, it's basically a tornado survival server. That's it. It's, it's, that's, yeah. One thing I have to say about making these Gmod server videos is that I've noticed that there are two categories of players. Not all the time, but most of the time. It's either British kids who don't listen to you, or Russian children who think they own the server. That's your warning. Anyways, shut up, sit back, and let's see my experience. <sighs> and yup, to be expected, server rules. I guess these are necessary, but, I mean, come on, it's a fucking Gmod server. As soon as I entered, I noticed this. Yup. That's the server. I then spawned in a helicopter, and like any other person, I threw it on the ground and watched it explode. Oh I then walked up to a PC store expecting to get some parts, then only realizing that I was in a video game, and that no parts would be this cheap. After some crazy hijinks ensued, I then walked up to an officer and asked him how his day was. Oh no! The officer proceeded to pick up his car and launch it. My words truly struck him deep. Yeah, after that one, I think I need to go bleach my eyes. If you didn't notice, there was this guy, Winston, screaming and screaming and just... If I touch screaming. it the right way, I get flung. I can't get it! I can't get it! Some familiar hijinks ensued, and I was killed. Ah, living the Gmod server life. In fact, the Gmod server life has made me want to sing a song. This server makes me want to burn my PC. It makes me want to flatten it. I can't stress it enough to you. It makes my PC an inferno. The server is so shit. I want to see it engulf. I don't know what to do. These people are moods. Just end this so I can finish this video. This game makes me want to have a stroke. I can't stress it enough. Go play another game. This server is nuts. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. This dumb server. Anyway, there's a tornado. I hope that's good enough. Check out my videos.
server.